Hi, this is Steve with Bluegrass Astro, and I was uh, getting ready to start imaging the new Skywatcher USA. They have a target of the month they call Totem, and this month's target was ARP 273. When I went into NETA and went into the Sky Atlas to search for it, uh, it's not there. So if we do to ARP 273, do a search, I get nothing. Now, you do have an option here. Uh, if we go down to the Framing Assistant and you know the coordinates, you can type those coordinates in uh, and you would be able to, to image that object at those coordinates. However, there's a much easier way. Nina can talk to your uh, uh, planetarium software. So if you have those two connected, you can click on this button and it will acquire those coordinates from the planetarium. Now, I use Stellarium for my planetarium software. There's many, but I will show you how to make that connection so that um, you can pull that information in easily. So from options and then equipment, your planetarium down here, you can pick whichever program you use. They support several, but I use Stellarium. Stellarium's on the same computer as Nina. You leave the host as local host, and the default port is 8090. So that's all you have to do within the planetarium side of things, or the Nina side of things, rather. Now, in my uh, planetarium software, here is Stellarium. You have to make that connection. So, under Configuration, go to Plugins, and then Remote Control. The Configure button will not be active the first time you open this. You have to click on the Load It Startup. Once you've clicked on that, you would exit out, restart Stellarium. When Stellarium comes back up, then you can go to the Plugins, Remote Control, and Configure will be there. At that point, Server Enabled needs to be checked enable automatically on startup and you leave the port number at the default of 8090. Save those settings, exit out of the configuration, and once again you'd have to restart Stellarium. Once you've done, restarted Stellarium, now the two programs can interact with one another. So if we go in here and do a search for ARP273, Here's my object. It's a couple of very small interactive galaxies. Uh, here you see the uh, coordinates at 221 and 3922. If I go back to Nina, I've got the, the item targeted there. I go back to Nina into the framing assistant and then click on the get coordinates button and in comes those very coordinates and it will actually load the image from the sky atlas and there's a picture success coordinates were acquired from stellarium so now you can go in and you can set up your imaging session um, and you'd be able to image that target without having to type in all of these different coordinates now there's another thing that's been in the news here lately that we're all probably kind of excited about is a new comet the new comet is uh, C22E3. It's obviously not in NINA. Now there is an Orbitals plugin for NINA. Uh, it may be in there. I have not used that plugin. I do know of its existence, but we can do this same process from Stellarium and bring in for the comet. If I go in and search for it, uh, I've searched before, here it is, but I don't find anything. By default, that comet is not in Stellarium's database, but it's a very simple process to add that in. So we'll go back into the configuration window. We'll go to plugins and then solar system editor, configure. Then we will click on import orbital elements from MPC format. We want to import a comet. From the little pull down, pick MPC's list of observable comets get orbital elements and I've already typed in the search and there it is but when you first bring up this window um, there won't be anything in there you'll start typing but you can see there are a number of elements there that you can pick from and you can choose as many as you want to import into Stellarium. I'll pick the C22E3 ZTF click the little checkbox 
then come down and say add objects close out of this close out of the editor close out of the configuration window and now when I do that search here is my comment I'll zoom out a little bit but there's the comment ready to go and we have the coordinates now so if you notice the coordinates up here 1547 3927 go back into Nina if we click on the get coordinates from planetarium there are those coordinates now it's going to load an image of the sky the comet's obviously not going to be there because it's an orbital random object but there's that image that portion of the sky targeted success it pulled in the coordinates from Stellarium and now you're ready to set up your imaging session and actually uh, begin taking images or animations of the comet so hopefully you found this uh, helpful um, like I say I was doing the totem object and got in and figured out that it wasn't in Nina as I started through that process I thought this might be helpful to some others so I put together a little video on this so once again if you found this helpful I would appreciate you hitting the like button if you'd like to have more comment content like this um, hit the subscribe button and until the next time clear skies Thank <laughs> you.